and welcome to part two of my all of my dolls video um in the second half i'm just gonna you know keep going right where i left off um so yeah again not trying to bag brag whatsoever these dolls bring genuine happiness into my life and i just wanted to share it with you guys want to keep the intro pretty short so let's get back into it Next, we have my Z, who I renamed Arden based off of Arden Cho, who played a character on Teen Wolf, but I just like her personally. I think she's she's literally one of my idols. She is wearing a pink lace bralette with a skirt from, I think, our generation, but I'm not completely sure. I know it's not American Girl, and I know it's not Etsy, um, but her shoes are from the Glam Doll. Next we have Mercer. She was also a very impromptu custom. She's a Mary Ellen who I put the wig on because I think she came with it, um, but I really liked how it looks. She's in this pink satin dress who I think is from Mini Mint Dress Shop with these pink sandals from American Girl. Next is Holland Rowland slash Lydia from Teen Wolf. Um, she is my truly mean number 61 and she has one of the most beautiful wigs ever, I swear. She's wearing a choker from I think Journey Girls and then her top and bottom are from Etsy. I just can't remember from where right now and her shoes are from Nanea's collection. Next is Erin, my Just Like You number 19 with like the piercing green Felicity eyes. Absolutely love that. Right now she is wearing a black sports bra from Elite Doll World, McKenna's shorts, and these purple shoes that I put on to match the purple on the skirt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Next is Jade. I named her after Jade from Victorious. She's kind of unfinished because I do want to darken her eyebrows or give her like a face up or something. Um, but right now she's wearing a gray crop top with a super cute cow printed skirt and black shoes. Then we have Noemi, my truly me number 79. Um, she is so pretty. She is the only doll that I have with this skin tone. Fun fact. Um, right now she is wearing this crop top that I got from Juniper Illy, so I don't know where it's from. A skirt made by me and white sandals. This is Clara. I don't know who made her or who painted her, but I definitely didn't, and I don't know where her wig is from because, again, I did not make her, but I named her Clara after Clara in the Nutcracker because I got her in December of 2018. Fun fact. Right now, she is wearing this crop top from Bella Boo's Closet, a skirt that I made myself, and she was from Sage's collection. Then we have Charlotte, my My American Girl number 33. She has the original classic face mold. Um, I originally had a 33 with the newer classic face mold. If you guys are collectors, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I decided I like this one better, so this is the one I'm keeping. She has on a little necklace a, and she's wearing a dress from Buzz and Bee with Gwen's meat shoes. Next we have Jaden, my truly me number 31. Um, I'll talk about her in just a sec, but she is wearing a top and skirt from Etsy. They're either from Willow Tree AG or Gummy Cat doll clothing and um, just these random sandals. Um, but next we have Easton, who is also a truly me 31. So if you compare the two, they actually have two separate face molds, even though they're the same doll because one is newer and one is older. Right now I have both because I'm contemplating which one to keep, so that's just fun facts from Allison. She is wearing a set from the Glam Doll with these brown, I mean black shoes. Alright, and my very first doll that I got in 2019 was Miss Blair Wilson, Girl of the Year 2019 herself. I absolutely love her eyes, I think they're my favorite part about her. Right now, she is wearing a strapless romper from Buzz and Bee with a self-tie, I think that's super cute, and these pink flats. Next, we have my Logan. I wasn't the one who put the wig on her. I bought her like that off of a seller on Instagram, but I did do her face up by myself. Um, she is, I want to say, like my trans doll. I just turned boy Logan into girl Logan. She is wearing a dress from Journey Girls right now, which I did open in one of my previous Etsy hauls, and these really cute brown espadrilles. Next, we have my second Kanani Akina, and I did hot water dunk her hair to make it completely straight. Um, I keep my other Kanani in a box, but I leave this one out to take photos with and do videos with and things like that, just because it's easier to manage and I don't have to be super duper careful about her curls. Right now, she is just wearing Blair's meat dress with these random gold sandals. 
Next we have another Felicity Merriman. She is also a historical Felicity, but I keep this one in the box because she got a new head, so I want to keep her as pristine as possible because I just am in love with Felicity. She means so much to me, so I just keep her in her meat and everything like that. Next, we have Ray Lynn, who is my custom Jess. She was my very first official custom creations video, so fun facts. She is currently wearing this really cute sweetheart yellow dress from Buzz and Bee that I'm in love with because I think it fits her really well, and these shoes from Melody's collection. Alright, and this girl is no stranger whatsoever. This is Juliet, my create your own. I had wanted her for so long. She's literally one of my prized possessions. Her opening video is on my channel. Right now she is wearing this blue crop top that I made, a shorts from the Glam doll, and these white sneakers. Next is Hunter, my My American Girl number 54. Um, she is also one of my little prized possessions. Um, right now she's wearing this blue off-the-shoulder top made by me, these black paper bag shorts who are from Etsy, not really sure from who, and Grace's sandals. Alright, next we have Kylie, who is from currently Sub Repaints, used to be American Girl for Life on Instagram. She is from one of his original releases, or I think from his original release. Absolutely love her and her unique style. Um, right now she is wearing this blue, kind of like festival looking set. I'm not really sure who made it, but very summery, along with these silver shoes. And at the same time that I got Kylie, I also got Kendall. I know they're not complete twins of Kylie. And Kendall, but I liked the name and I'm going to name them that because they're basically twins or sisters in my opinion. Um, right now she is wearing this dress from I think Willow Tree AG Jewelry um, with these brown sandals. Alright, next up we have my Sonali Matthews, Girl of the Year 2009 best friend. She is definitely, I think, my most expensive doll. I got her off of eBay and then I sent her into the doll hospital and now I have her in great condition. I love her. Gorgeous. She is in one of um, American Girl's old, like, just like you, spring outfits that I think suits her really well. Speaking of old favorites, this is Avery, my My American Girl number 36. I had also wanted her for so long. Her and 48 are kind of like twins or sisters in my opinion because they're super similar. But yeah, I named her Avery. Love her. Right now she is in this paisley dress from the Glam Doll and Elizabeth's Meat Shoes. Then we have Catherine, a create your own who I didn't make but I did get her and she is a create your own. Um, I absolutely love her. I sent her in for an eye replacement and she looks so much better. Um, right now she has this white satin bralette on, a skirt from Julie's collection, and these cute colorful red shoes. Then we have Danielle, Danny for sure, who is also Daenerys from Game of Thrones. It's a big, you know, chain, but I love her. She is one of my most unique dolls, I think. Right now she is just wearing this cord set made by me with these black flats. Alright, next we have Carter, who is my little fashionista. Her makeup was done by Small Friends, but um, she was originally Cheryl Blossom, but I switched her wig, so now she's just a completely different character because I'm not the biggest fan of Riverdale. Her dress is from eBay, and I think it just, the whole chic vibe fits with her super duper well, and I just paired it with some black shoes. Okay, next is my Just Like You number 24 who is custom painted by Selena Esparza and I watched her all the time. Like OG customizer, love her so freaking much. Um, I had always wanted 24 but she was a little bit boring in my opinion but she was still cute but once I saw her with this face paint and she also has her nails and toes done, I fell in love with her. Right now she's wearing this yellow dress from Buzz and Bee with these simple sandals. Next up is Kelly, my My American Girl number 38. She is one of my prized possessions. I love her pin straight hair so, so, so much. Um, right now she is wearing a crop top made by me. Um, I don't know where her shorts are from and some Etsy shoes as well. Speaking of old ones, next up is London, my Just Like You number 11. She was also pretty hard to come by, so I was super excited that I got to get her at a pretty inexpensive price. She is wearing this set from Buzz and Bee, a really pretty new peachy set from Buzz and Bee with these pink flats. Next we have Rowan, one of my customs, and she's literally one of my favorites because this was one of the first ever like full face-ups I did for a doll, and I love it. I love how she turned out. She is in this red cord set made by Sasha Lee, which is perfect for the summer with these red shoes. 
Next we have Malona, my custom number 26 I believe. I got her off of Juniper Illy, she was once part of her collection, so I'm not really sure who made her, but I think Asian Mole did her eyes. Right now she is in this dress from Elite Doll World with these pink flats. And Juniper Lee was selling a lot of dolls at the time, so I was able to get my hands on Catalina. I love her. I named her Catalina. She is a custom number 80 with this super cute like ruby red wig. I believe she was inspired by a Bratz doll, but I'm not really a, few, a huge Bratz fan, so I'm not sure which one. She's in a custom set by Sasha Lee and these brown flats. And the last doll that I got from Juniper Lee's collection when she was selling a bunch of her dolls is Aria. Um, she was originally Diane or Diana, um, but I switched her wig and changed a little bit of her face and um, I love her. Um, she is currently in this dress from Buzz and Bee with these flats. Then we have Fawn, who is a collaboration custom with Posh Custom Dolls. Um, she did her entire face up, which is one of the most, or is the most artistic face up on any of my dolls. She's my little springtime floral girl and I love her. She is in this green crochet bralette, this floral skirt, and brown sandals. My next custom is Rosaline, who the whole inspiration behind her was completely rose gold. Um, so she was a custom host, Fina, and then I sent her to Ju Juniper Illy to do her face up as well as her hand painted eyes, which I think is my favorite part about her. Her dress is from Etsy, I can't remember the shop right now, but her sandals are from Leah's collection. Next we have Colette, my Truly Me 81. I thought that she was a little bit boring when she came out, but the more I saw of her, the more I fell in love with her. She has on a white bralette, a yellow skirt, and yellow sandals. Next is Maya, my Create Your Own. I absolutely love her. The thing is, I think her face mold it's just a little off. I think her eye sockets are a little bit too big. Um, if Once you start collecting for a while, I feel like you kind of notice these things. So I think I'm going to just try to heat her head up myself and squeeze her eyes a little bit. But anyways, she is in this custom made set from Etsy and these black, I mean Grace's sandals. Speaking of what I have in real life, I don't know if that was a good transition, this is my mini me, my official custom mini me. Um, I made a long customization video about her, you can check it out. Fun fact, I did just dye my hair rose gold if you can see in the camera, so we're not, cust we're not matching right now, but normally she does look like me. <laughs> right now she's in this cord set that I made with these red shoes. Next we have Noelle, also a Create Your Own made by me. She has the lightest skin tone and I made her before, I think her number's 84. The new one that looks very similar to her came out so I was kind of disappointed that the Just Like You looked exactly like my Create Your Own. But I love her nevertheless and she does have green eyes so it's a little bit different. Her top is from Little Lavender Threads. I don't really know where her shorts are from but she's wearing these green flats that I love. Then we have Victoria Monet. She is, I think, the only doll that I have kind of like a double name for because I could not decide between the two. She's my Truly Me 86 that I love so much. Everything about her, completely unique. I think her dress is from eBay and she is wearing these purple shoes. Next we have Peyton, who I believe is a Create Your Own Base. I got her head off of Instagram, but I changed her face up a little bit, gave her a new wig, and she is my little cute little custom. Absolutely love her. Right now she is wearing a tank top from Elite Doll World, um, I think skirt from Julie's collection, as well as her shoes. And this girl you might recognize from my giveaway. This is Ainsley, named after a character on Four Weddings and a Funeral, who this is based off of. Um, I absolutely love her so much. And right now she's wearing this plaid set that I made myself with these shoes from I think our generation. And the very last doll in this All My Dolls video is Kennedy, my newest Truly Me 78. Got her in June 2020. She's adorable. Her romper is from Sunshine Doll Apparel and I matched it with these white sandals. All right, and that completely concludes my summer 2020 All of My Dolls two-part series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it wasn't too boring or anything like that. It took forever for me to film and edit and all of that, but I really hope you guys like it. This has been pretty requested, so I'm really excited that I was able to do it for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye!